In this example, we're asked to compute the surface area of the portion of the plane, 3x plus 2y plus z equals 6, that lies in the first octant, or cut off by the first octant of the three-dimensional coordinate system. And there are a couple different ways to do this, but the way that I'd like to do it for this example is to realize that, or to envision, that this surface, this portion of this plane, is given by the equation of a function, so the graph of a function that maps the projection in the xy plane up to the surface. Okay, So the idea here is that we're going to be able to solve this for z, and that our function is going to be 6 minus 3x minus 2y. Okay, So this will be the function that we want to find the surface area of. And then we need to know what this domain is downstairs. We're going to treat this like a par parametrized function. Uh, or a parameterized surface, I should say. And so understanding the domain of the parameter domain is going to be very important to us. And if we pull this out, we can just look over here. And we can just look at the xy plane. So when the parameter domain is just the xy plane, then nothing is really changing here, right? So we can just take it out and look at it like we've done before. And we notice that we have this region bounded. This could be either type 1 or type 2 but it's a triangular region that's bounded by this line. And this line can be given by y equals 3 minus, so rise over run here is negative 3 halves, right? So minus 3 halves x. And then when x is 2, y is 0, this is exactly the right line. So this is uh, our domain, our parameter domain, treated like a, a parametric function then. Our r is just going to be the vector function x, y, and then the z component is 6 minus 3x minus 2y. Okay, and so again, we have different ways to compute the surface area of this that we've learned in earlier sections in this course, but let's do it as a parametric function. And in, in this case, we know that the formula for the surface area is the double integral over the parameter domain of the length of the normal vector, of normal vector field, we should say, dA, Okay, but this normal vector field is going to be very nice. So remember the normal vector, uh, nu, nu, is equal to the cross product of the two partial derivatives of this uh, parameterized function here. And so this is going to be the cross product of a couple of very nice vectors. So I'm going to write out everything here just so we can see all the work. But let's see what happens. Because this thing is a plane, and it's going to turn out to be very nice. Okay, so remember our parameterization is x, y, 6 minus 3x minus 2y, okay? We need to compute the partial derivatives. Partial derivative of x is 1 with respect to x. y dx is 0. And the x derivative of this whole term is just negative 3. Same thing here, right? So y derivative is 0, 1, and then negative 2. And our normal vector field then, nu, is just going to be a constant vector field, okay? It's 0 minus a negative 3, so positive 3. It's going to be uh, 0 minus a negative 2. It's positive 2, and then 1. And so the length of this normal vector field is the square root of 14. All right? And so all we have to do is integrate up that constant square root of 14 over this domain D, and we will find that the surface area of our surface is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 in the x direction. The y derivative or the y direction goes from 0. We can go back up and look at our at our domain here. So the y direction is going from 0 up to the curve. So 0 up to 3 minus 3 halves x. And then once that's done, that's where I got the 0 to 2 in the x direction. Right? So it integrates type 1 up and down first and then left to right. So the, that function was 3 minus 3 halves x up here in this boundary. And then we just, our normal vector, uh, length of our normal vector is constant, and we integrate dy dx. And so the answer to this integral is going to be our surface area. Square root of 14 is obviously constant, can come out. This integral from 0 to 2 is still here. And then this integral is just going to be the difference of these, right? So 3 minus 3 halves x dx. And at this point, the integral is a breeze, right? So this is 3x um, minus 3 fourths x squared from 0 to 2. 
and we end up with root 14 times, this is going to be 6, minus uh, 3, and so this is just 3 root 14. And there's the surface area of the portion of the plane cut off by the first octant.